Hello and welcome back to Bandersish Left Learning. In this episode, I want to show you a little bit of a uh, breakdown, something technical that you might encounter in the future. So let's say you have created uh, this type of uh, creations, just like random points. I have, uh, I think I have 200, 200 points that's been scattered randomly. And then each one of them is given a different color. And I've done everything using geometry nodes um, let's let me disable the subsurface scattering so we have only just the balls uh, we can actually just use the emissions okay just random points and we have this custom color and also we have uh, the positions that's being transferred and turned into just like a like a data that you want to perhaps export into sketchfab but if you try to bake this you try to bake this type of data because you don't have face or anything it's just gonna disappear and yeah you don't want that and normally you want to be able to just bake it and export it as PLY for example in case like this um, we can use Svertok nodes um, to export out the data. Okay, so it might, it might be slightly tricky, but first of all, let's get rid of this mess to points. Just, I'm just gonna mute it. I turn it into just points and edges data. So we still have like vertex and I can transfer the custom data position, something like position and color into these custom attributes. And then what's going on here, I made this simple script that simply simply look at this object. And then I use the evaluate evaluated data in the dependency graph. And then just, in this case, I just append it into a list of data. This is actually for Svertok. And I'm using these nodes called exec node mode in Svertok and simply trying to export the data as as a text okay this is something that I think sketchfab can take and we just need like a position and color in this case I'm um, with this uh, script I grab the color data and then I join and wrap it and then multiply by this number because I want it to be RGB uh, data between 0 and 255 and then I just export it out each one of them I just dump it into this text um, if you want to have the positions I think you simply need to change this call into post because that's the name I gave here and here let's see if this is working okay seems that's the random vector data I'm just gonna use this list join once again vector out so this is the vector data coming out and it should be that should be the XYZ and this should be the RGB and I just need to dump it so I'm dumping everything into this text text data that I, that I can just simply save. So we have the RGB and also the positional data. So if you save this out as and then you just tell sketch five, okay, this is like a really like a raw ASCII type of data. And sketch five will turn it back into just position and the color for point cloud okay um, <clears throat> it's it's something that you you might you also might want to try other app like mesh lab or cloud compare I think it should be able to process the data so it's yeah this is one example just like slightly tricky and slightly technical but you might need it at some point 
you you probably don't need to use sphere chalk if you just use the python but sphere chalk nodes make it kind of simple like uh just for like a rough uh like a quick rough script and then you you can turn this back into python and then create a python code that simply grab this data and then export it out okay um yeah so that's basically what i want to show you hopefully this is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye